When Celeste first went and she came back to California after the first or second semester, it was, you know, it was so wonderful to see a confident um, young woman walk in the door. Uh, there's something to be said for having to um, go, through, go through things yourself, manage your day, um, and become, it's an often overused term, but more self-reliant. And as we all know, I think as parents, is that the best thing they can take away that will serve them throughout their life, both professionally and also personally, is that self-reliance, that ability to, I did it, um, I, I met the challenge, and I can do it again. A great moment that I recall so far from him was that his relationship with his roommate, Justin, and the bond that they're sort of forming together is, is unbelievable. And, and he talks about how Justin is like an old friend, like he's known him since he was in elementary school. It's actually quite surprising and beautiful. Um, and so I know they're already really super bonded and I see these two being friends for a lifetime. A Kent moment that comes to mind has to do with Jack's advisor. Um, I think the advisor program is very special at Kent and I like that Jack has been with the same advisor for a number of years and you can choose to do that at Kent. I remember his freshman year, so his third form year, he had a friend who came to visit. We are originally from Houston and his friend was in New York City. He took the train here. They visited, they hung out, and then they could not get a taxi to pick his friend up to take him to the bus station. Jack was texting me. I was like, I don't know what you want me to do. And he said, oh, I'll just call Mr. Ober. So he called his advisor and his advisor called the friend's mom and said, I have Henry here. Do I have your permission to drive him to the train station? Above and beyond. So sending my child off at a young age to boarding school and knowing that there's a backup system there, someone who can ferret out those problems and fix those things that a parent would fix, it just made me feel so, so good. One great Kent moment, one that I'm very, uh, that I remember well, very much seared in my memory, is during, of course, the COVID year, when we were uh, ex distanced. Of course, we weren't. Uh, we were ex experiencing Parents Weekend, in fact, uh, and some of the follow-up through Zoom only. And so uh, one of my sons was taking this kind of first time offered fashion design course. He was so excited about it um, uh, with Miss Lynch, who's the head of the, the art department. Uh, she had a, a, a group of students and we had, um, some parents had been able to kind of dial in to be in the classroom to try and experience it. And she literally took her computer around with her Zoom and showed us what each student was working on. They would talk about their design idea. They would show us some of the drawings and then a little bit of what stage they were up to with the, the fabric and the, and the, you know, creating the pattern. Um, and it was really fun. We got a chance to feel like we were in the class. We got to meet some other students uh, through that way. Um, and I was just so proud of my son and what he was doing. You know, it was something really kind of innovative and different and having that that unique experience so that was a great Kent moment. A true Kent moment that I would share is um, how Oliver found his advisor and um, he was assigned to a very kind man um, when he first arrived here last fall but there was a moment uh, in the winter season when he um, learned of his status on the hockey team. We went from JV to thirds and he had been skating all fall with kids who were bigger, faster, um, all of that than him, and was really trying to hold his place on the JV squad. And so, you know, dashing the hopes of a young 14-year-old. Um, and he'd already developed a relationship with Tory Hall. And when he was walking back from the hockey rink after that, that happened, he found Tori, who was on duty in his dorm, and told him what had happened. And Tori handled it in the best possible way for Oliver. He said, you know, we, you got this, let's learn from this, and we'll go on from there. And I got 
not a teary-eyed phone call, but a, a phone call right after that from um, Oliver just telling me what had happened, including his interaction with Mr. Hall. And um, he said, I really wish he was my advisor, Mom. I said, well, why don't you go ask him? And he's like, can I actually do that? And I said, sure, you know, why not? So we hung up the phone, he went and talked to Tori, and within 24 hours, he became his advisor. And that relationship has been phenomenal for Oliver. So I'm, you know, I love that we still have that program in place. I think it's so essential to, again, that community aspect, but being that, that one person that you can go to here that is above and beyond teachers and coaches is so important to the teenage experience, and Tori is fantastic. Thank you.